Hey guys, it's Young Thomas 454 here, and today I'm going to be installing Modern Warfare 2 on my MacBook Pro. You can see MacBook Pro on boot camp. Um, it's, sorry about this being a little, bit, a little bit late. My Windows corrupted and had to do everything. It, um, it was like a few days ago it corrupted. So Modern Warfare 2, I put disk 1 in there. It's in there. So, um, I turned off autoplay, so I'm just going to. Go up to there's the disc. Uh, this is genuine disc. This is an imported version. Modern Warfare 2 PC. It's genuine. I've got my leopard disc in there for some reason. So whatever. Okay, so I'm just going to open up that, and there it is. Okay, so what I'm going to click is install. I've already installed Steam and put in my account because I've installed this before, so um, I won't need to put in my code, registry code. Clicking install and now it's um, installing components Microsoft C because it needs that to run the game. So you can't see that because this is a uh, pit, this is just for taking pictures this camera. So it's not for taking video, so this is a crap video. But it's running boot camp and Oh, a MacBook as well. Thinking, how can a MacBook run this? So it's installing the component, and uh, I'll just come back to you once it starts installing it. Thank you. So, oh, still going. Okay, ah, uh, yep, yeah, we'll just come back once it's. Okay, it's telling me the disk space required and how much disk space I have available. Um, so, yep, I'm just going to click next. And I've got saying up here, crate. Uh, start menu, so down in the start menu and create a desktop icon so I can just launch it from a desktop but you've got to have Steam open oh, click and now it's preparing Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 files for install okay so I'll come back once it's just about asking me to put in disk 2 and to uh, install disk 2 and we'll see how we go cool. hey guys I'm back um, I've just been uh, well, it's just been prompted to uh, insert disk 2. Okay, so I'm going to eject this one. There it is there. I'm going to go up to put the disk back in and take out disk 2. So I'm going to put it into my MacBook. That is an awesome picture. I like the one of when you're actually opening the game. It shows you the picture. That's a cool picture. I'll have to get that. Cool. Oh. Okay, there we go. I'm just going to see if it's recognised the disc. Yes, it has. Yes, it has. So I'm going to come on back into Steam and click OK. There we go. Um, 8 minutes and, oh, 8 minutes and 17 seconds to go. Okay, I will come back once it's installed, which will probably be about another 8 minutes. <laughs> so, I'll see you in 8 minutes. Hey guys, I'm back. And it has just said, um, it is now finished. So, it's going to, I'll just unclick run the game now, finish. Um. Oh, there's an update, but um, I'm just going to try and launch it now. <coughs> Pardon me. Let's see if it even opens because it's updating. So I don't know if I can. Uh... Oh yeah, it can't open. I can. I'm just going to wait. Actually, it's good. Um take a while because the update so um, I'll just come back once it's starting to open thank you ok guys it's now finished updating 100% ready to launch so I can close that and I'm going to go down to my oh hello I'm going to open single player preparing launch and uh I want to play game. So, uh, 
here we go. And it's opening, just setting its display rate. And wait for a second. Here we go. You can see Modern Warfare 2. I clocked it before my computer corrupted, so I'm gonna have to clock it again. So I won't be doing a gameplay today. I will make another video for that. Okay, so this, is, this has been your boy Young Thomas 454 here, and subscribe. And if you have any more questions, want me to do anything, um, reviews, any kind of stuff that I've got, heaps of products I can do reviews on and crap like that. So. Peace out and subscribe.